Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jimmy. Thank you for joining me today. We are talking about the Aki Carb Magnetic Phone Mount. Before this, I used a vent mount, and those were terrible. We'll go over that later. But I want to be your visual aid today because the instructions in here, while they are sort of clear, they're about this big, and uh, I had to read it a few times to make sure that I wasn't going to make a mistake. When it comes to adhesives, you want to do it right the first time. Do some planning, do some cleaning, and that way it'll last you for the length of the car, I think. So I have this extra one here, and I'm going to install it for you guys, step by step. So follow along and watch this one time through before you do it. I do need to find a car, so I'm going to break into one and install it. Let's go. Okay, so obviously I'm kidding. I didn't steal a car for all you guys out there that are worried that I just broke into a car. I don't do that anymore. So here are some things you're gonna need. You're gonna need your product here, the Aki Car Magnetic Phone Mount. You're gonna need some isopropyl alcohol. And if you don't have that, just use some water, uh, some napkins, maybe some light diluted soap just to clean the surface. Oh, it is plastic, but it seems really heavy duty the way it's made. And uh, this is the base here that you can stick right onto your dashboard if you want to. Um, when you do that though, um, it is a permanent bond. However, you can remove it by using a hair blow dryer, weakening and gooing up the bond, and then removing it slightly by wiggling it or using some floss to kind of cut through the stickiness. And it comes off like that. And to get rid of the extra residue, you can use a citrus-based cleaner. Uh, a degreaser works really well or even WD-40 sometimes really works well to get rid of that sticky stuff that's hard to get off otherwise, even with soap and water. And this is the extra base that you can use that I used in my other car. And uh, this is what allows for a better bond in my opinion. So if you have it, I dec definitely recommend you using it. Uh, I wouldn't go without it, okay? So even if your car is somewhat of a flat surface, which this one appears to be, I recommend using the base. And the instructions are here, which you're not going to need after watching this. And these are the extra plates that you put in your phone, underneath the phone case. And this is what allows your phone to stick magnetically to this magnetic arm here. Here is the first step. You're going to get a paper towel or two, layer it up nice and good, put some water on it like so. Mm -hmm. Whoa! And now we're going to put some alcohol on here as well. Just a little bit, just so it helps dry and disinfect and all that good stuff. The other car that I did did not have a ridge, but it was kind of like uneven anyway. So I used the base for that. This one, I'm going to use the base and have it skewed to one side or the other. I think I'll stick to the one next to the driver. Um, I wanted to avoid having it in front of a vent, but I guess sometimes it's unavoidable. At least it's not directly on the vent and there will be some space between your phone and the heating vent. So here is the base. We're going to stick this paper side down like so. Um, as you can see, there's a ridge here and it doesn't really rest very flush. So I'm going to stick it right there and possibly with this tab sticking out towards the windshield. I don't want this facing this way or this way or carelessly put it any which way. I'm going to stick it right in the middle towards the front of the car. Now this arm here, I'm going to put this on top like this and as you can see, it can bend all the way down in front of the vent here. You want to get that full range of motion, right? So stick this base as far as you want. Don't just stick it far back here. You're not going to get that full range of motion of the arm. So go ahead and put this closest as possible while still anchoring it firmly. And then you want to line up this tab with this tab. All you got to do is make sure this is straight back like so. And then this one can be moved later. So this is the most important part. Now that the surface is clean and dry, Now, as you can see, I'm holding it down with my hands just to make sure it gets that firm bond. 
They do recommend in the instructions not to actually use the mount for 24 hours as it settles down and adheres to each other and to the dashboard itself. If you're wondering how this thing works, when you lift up the tab like so, you can now move this thing left and right. When it's closed down like so, it does not move. So with it open, line up the tabs to be up and down like so. So you can just line up this with the base tab on your dashboard. I've already removed the plastic protector here, so it's very sticky, don't touch this, and do your best to line it up right the first time. Take your time, go slowly. Let's go. Okay, so I've removed the plastic off the base as well as the arm. If you notice here, I've also adjusted this arm to be facing up a little bit. The reason why is because when I stick this together, I don't want this to get in the way as I push down. So just adjust that. Now line the tabs together and push down. Take your time, go slowly. Okay, you can do some micro adjustments here and there. Okay, push down. If this is not facing the way you want it to, that's okay. There's a lock here which allows it to be adjusted later. But for now, just push down on the mount and the base together with your hand. And keep it like this for just a minute or two. The shape of the dash definitely affects the adhesion. In the first car of this video, the dash was slightly curvy. Only slightly. The arm lifted off in two days but not from the dash, but between the base and the arm. I recommend putting a book or a weight on it overnight. Uh, as I mentioned before, don't use the mount for your phone. We all have very heavy phones now. Um, don't use it for about 24 hours if you can. Extra tips. Adjust it before you drive. Place your hand here and add some pressure before you move it. You don't want to just rely on the sticker and then move it like this, okay? Hold it down, adjust the arm to where you want it to be, and then drive. And that way you can just leave it. And when you're about to take the phone off the magnetic hold, I recommend using your hand again and taking it off this way. Don't just rip it off the magnetic holder. The magnetic uh, hold here is very firm, so don't just take this off. Don't add stress to this joint, uh, to your dashboard is what I'm trying to say. From using this for quite a while, I've learned that sliding it off simply is not the best way. It can weaken the bond over there. What is the best way? Your phone is mounted here, so take your hand with one hand, you can just pivot it off to the side, and it releases very easily and very quickly. Left, right, towards the top or towards the bottom at an angle, it releases safely and your bond is still intact just by using one hand. Thanks guys. As far as sticking the phone on here, you're going to use these metal plates provided. You put these in between your phone and the case and it sticks right there on the holder. Okay, It's just such a better alternative than using something like this that I used to use that rests it in the vents here. It just wasn't a good idea. I mean, right up against the heating stores on a cold day, not a good idea. Also, if you used to fall right out and trying to find how it's secured in the vents itself is a pain. Also, um, you know, these things would break. You know, my previous car, you gotta be careful. My old car had these cheap plastic vents and putting these the stress on these is not a good idea. You know, I just don't like this anymore. So I recommend using this one and hopefully this instructional video helped you guys through it. Bye guys.